Guys, so this is it. Moving day. Don't mind my unmakeup face. <sighs> okay, so, so I got my couch, everything down here ready. Still the TV up, my mirrors. I woke up at 5 a.m. to do my laundry that's left over. I'm so excited, guys. A new start. Hi, Gwen. <laughs> my little puppy is a little anxious. Everything is packed, guys. I just got back from vacation and uh, first day I'm back, I am told my roommate is moving with his girlfriend. Hey, I'm fucking happy for you, my friend. I wish you the best. And uh, I'm glad he told me in advance so I can pack up and move. Guys, I have a shit ton of stuff, but I am so blessed. I have a bunch of friends coming to help me today. This is pretty much it though. I emptied my room. I know there's a lot. But anyways, I have three of my amazing girlfriends and the boyfriends and movers, God bless them, coming to help me this morning to move into my new home. I'm really excited and this is a fresh new start for me guys. Um, again, I know I just moved here in August, but this was a kind of in-between place. I was rushed leaving my old place because my landlord was causing me a lot of issues. So I was like, mm -mm, I'm out of here. And then my room, well, my current roommate, well, I guess he's not really my roommate anymore because I'm moving today. But my friend, <laughs> um, he had extra space in his house and was like, yo, you can move in with me. I'm just going to leave the lights on, actually. So yeah, here I am. I moved with him for a while and yeah, he's moving to his girlfriend's house. Um, so I'm moving too. I found myself a new home within a week. It took about a week, guys. Um, yeah, it was really nice, actually. I was a little like anxious to find a place right away because, well, first of all, it's December. We're like, you know, almost like Christmas. So I want to be settled and have my new home all ready for Christmas and yeah, it's happening. Whenever I went to look at apartments, I gave myself seven days. I left out seven days of clothes, seven days of pee pad for little Miss Quinn Bear. Come here, come here. And then, yeah, basically, um, that's it. It took exactly seven days. It's been seven days now, and I'm moving out. I'm so excited, and words cannot express how grateful I am for my friends and everybody coming to help me today, and the movers, like, oh, I'm really excited. And yeah, throughout the week, it was a bit of a stressful week. First day I got back, okay, start looking for a place. Next day, literally, I already went. I went for about seven viewings. I didn't like a lot of them. So when I found the one that I ended up taking, I was like, that's it. This is the one. I'm not looking anymore. I like it. I'm taking it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited for it. And uh, throughout the week, though, um, turns out TD Entrance is complete bullshit. So they have my credit card, they have my phone number, they have my email, and they have my address. They decided to send me two letters in the mail, which I did not receive. I can guarantee you, I swear to God, I did not receive those letters. There's three or four people that has the key to the mailbox. I have no idea. I didn't receive the letters. My insurance got canceled on me. Yep, so um, my insurance got canceled on me. I was gone for, you know, about two weeks on vacation. So anyways, I didn't see the letters. I didn't see anything. I have money in my bank account. I paid my bills. They had my credit card. I thought it was auto renew or something. Turns out it's not. I'm still going through them for my house insurance currently. But guys, if I can tell you something, don't fucking go with TD Bank for shit. Because, uh, yeah, they're like, you know, they didn't try to call me. They didn't try to email me. Nothing. Just cancel my car insurance. So before the day I was supposed to go sign my lease, I called TD Insurance to switch my house insurance over, which I called them in September when I moved to this house. And I thought that I had paid for my car insurance because we went over it. Nope, nope, they didn't take the payment. They had my credit card on file though, but nope, didn't take the payment. And uh, yeah, I canceled my uh, car insurance, so I ended up, <laughs> I ended up, uh, yeah, oh my god, okay, let's, let's have it like this with all this stuff in the back. So I ended up calling the next day in the morning, woke up at like 5, I've been in the 5 a.m. club all week, guys, I'm up at like 4 or 5 a.m. every day, I don't know, I'm still on New Brunswick time, I think. But anyways, long story short, I ended up calling for insurance for like two hours, ended up talking to the most like the most helpful the most amazing human being ever we actually were like 
telling stories to each other back and forth. She was so sweet. And uh, yeah, I got car insurance from a different company. Then I went to sign my lease. Then here I am packing everything. I swear to God, I did not have a break. And guys, the day before I flew back here, I maybe had a five hour sleep slept like shit because I knew I had to take the plane with that little thing and I know she doesn't like it so it was just and I'm leaving my family so I was a bit sad I slept for about five hours then I was up for 22 hours straight guys just being up because I woke up around 8 a.m. I took my flight around 7 p.m. and we had to drive to Moncton so three and a half hour driving got to my sister's house played with her you know her little kids so my little nephew so it was not a very relaxing day then uh, there you go. I ended up flying at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. I take the plane and I fly back home. I got home in Alberta at 6 a.m. Slept till about 9, 9.30 a.m., which is about three hours of sleep to then be told I had to move. So I started packing my shit, looking for a place. <laughs> Guys, I am so excited today to have my own place and be able to breathe and relax. I have not stopped. I have not stopped. I was on vacation for two weeks with my family, so I wasn't able to work in over three weeks now. So I'm excited to be home. I'm excited to be in my things. I'm excited to move. I look like complete shit. I got no makeup on. Sorry, guys. I don't really care. I know you guys who are watching this right now are not on my channel just because of my makeup face. And if you are, well, go watch another video. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update on how everything is going and how even when life throws you lemon, make lemonade with it. No, I'm just joking. That's so, up. That's so corny. But yeah, you know, whenever life throws trouble at you guys, just stay positive. There's always good in the end. And there's no good without bad, right? So, you know, when bad things happen, I like to tell myself good things are coming as well. Because it's yin and yang. That's how the universe works, you know? And when shit happens, sometimes it makes you a stronger person. You learn things, you know? And you have to just always try to look at the situation as a positive, as a, as a positive thing, you know? Because that's just life. Life's a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the lessons. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for being here and yeah, I guess 